Jamie, you know, fire is just something that we have to deal with here in the Pacific Northwest. Mm -hmm. And uh, this drought situation that we have been in, uh, there's still some problems out there despite the recent rains. Right, despite the recent rain, this is our weekly drought update. So it updates every Thursday and currently around the metro area, we've been seeing the dry conditions creep in. Even just last week, uh, there was more of the clear space around the metro area. So more of our state now in the drought dry conditions. And then in central Oregon, they are still sitting in the severe category right now. Hey, so Newport, a beautiful day out there, a lot cooler than what we're seeing around the metro area. It's 57 degrees. A little breezy, though, there at the Oregon Coast Aquarium. The winds out of the north northwest at 20 miles per hour. As we then head out to McMinnville, a beautiful scene out there at the Evergreen Aviation and Space Museum, where it's 85 degrees. The winds are calm in McMinnville right now. Winds are calm here in downtown Portland as well. We've seen a few scattered clouds around, but it is 83. We've been holding steady at 83. As we go into our evening hours, it will be a nice warm evening for us. Even 9 p.m., we're still sitting at 72 degrees. Right now, the winds for us are out of the northwest at nine miles per hour. We maxed out at 83, where we've been uh, holding steady. So plenty uh, of warm uh, conditions for us up and down I-5. I mean, Eugene, Salem, everyone looking at the low to mid 80s. But then when you make your way to Medford, daytime high of 87. Bullet points for you. This is what you need to know as you look ahead for tonight and into the next couple of days. So we have a dry and pleasant evening ahead. Now we could see isolated thunderstorms pop up throughout the eastern part of our state tomorrow. And then that dry and sunny warm weather that continues for us here in Portland. The thunderstorm potential mostly east of the Cascades. Uh, the Cascades, especially in Lane County, there's plenty of potential tomorrow for thunderstorms, which means that threat of heavy downpours, lightning and even small hail. That's a possibility for you folks out there tomorrow. Rain chances in Portland in the next six days really isn't any. We are forecasting to stay dry through late next week. So what that means when you combine warm weather, dry conditions, breezy conditions, the allergy sufferers out there, it's not looking so good for you this weekend. So maybe limit your time outside because we are now in the medium to high category. This is uh, based on pa pollen counts out of 12. So still in that high category up and down I-5, especially for all of you out there in Eugene. The future cast, we time this out for you. We stay clear this evening. No real clouds rolling in until tomorrow morning, especially out there on the coast. We'll start our Sunday morning looking at 57 degrees. And then by tomorrow evening, we'll be in the upper 70s to low 80s up and down the I-5 corridor. The ridge of high pressure really impacting us uh, right now throughout this weekend and into early next week. And that means we've got those warm temperatures for us through this weekend. If you are heading to the Timbers match tonight, uh, just let's see in just about a little over an hour and a half or so, 7.30 kickoff. It will be a beautiful evening for the Timbers that are taking on New York City FC. So no need for a jacket this evening. I think you'll be all right. Hey, so tomorrow the coast, some clouds out there could see some morning drizzle. And then in the valley, we have so much sunshine on tap. The only thing is tomorrow morning, we could see some patchy fog. But once we get into our work week, we are seeing plenty of blue skies, plenty of sunshine hovering right around the low 80s. And then Thursday, that's when we start to uh, see warmer temperatures and we'll climb into the mid 80s that by is a Thursday. That is a lovely forecast. Yes, right very warm, very nice. Yeah,